The number of documented foreign workers in Malaysia in 2015 is 2.14 million, exceeding the 1.99 million Indian Malaysians, the country's third largest ethnic group after the Malaysian Malays and Chinese Malaysians. Indonesians make up 39.2% of the 2.14 million documented workers, followed by Nepalese and Bangladeshis. Also in 2015, the Nepal Embassy received 461 death reports of Nepalese workers, of which 70% died in their sleep due to a massive heart attack or sudden cardiac arrest. In the medical field, these causes of death are very general and usually from unclear sources. 80% of the documented Nepalese migrant workers work in the manufacturing sector, while 20% work in the service sector, for example, security sector, cargo handling and cleaning services. Workers in these sectors tend to work long shifts and they do not have proper accommodation, resulting in workers not being able to rest properly, which leads to fatigue. Migrant health issues will be taking the limelight again soon, especially when the employer mandatory commitment levy will be in effect in January next year. We at Management and Science University took up vital health-related research in particular with regards to the physical and mental health care of migrant workers, which are the work-life stress levels of migrant workers and communicable diseases among these migrant workers. Research on work-life stress of migrant workers was carried out on 219 migrant workers in the Klang Rally, targeting Indonesians, Nepali and Bangladeshis. These are from low-skilled migrant worker classes. In order to gauge their stress levels, blood pressure readings were taken. And this was also a means of advising migrant workers of their BP levels and risk factors and how to lead a more healthy lifestyle. We found that 39% of migrant workers respondents had higher than normal blood pressure levels. Results of this study were published in the Journal of Management and Science in June 2017 issue. Now, the research to address communicable diseases among migrant workers was done on 40 Nepali security guards in Shah Alam. We found that personal hygiene is an important factor in keeping workers healthy. The identity of some harmful microorganisms was found on mobile devices of migrant worker respondents. To emphasize on personal hygiene, hand sanitizers were distributed and proper hand wash techniques were demonstrated to all the respondents. <laughs>